Bonjour, mon amis, and welcome back to America What the Heck. Sorry I haven't posted anything in a while. Uh, it's been a rough, rough couple of weeks with school, but um, I'm back and I have free time, so hey. Also, a happy Easter to all of you, and of those of you who do not practice, practice Christianity, happy Sunday! Anyways, on to these topics for America What the Heck. We have uh, the attack in Brussels, the NFL and concussions, and the wall of kindness which is an amazing story and I would love to be able to tell you about this. But first, Brussels. Unfortunately, uh, this past week, Brussels was under attack by terrorists and I'm sad to say that many died. And I'd like you all to maybe take a little bit of time out of your day, if you already haven't done this, and pray or just send good thoughts uh, towards the families of those victims and towards the victims themselves. There was also an attack in Bosnia as well and the uh, Bosnian Serb leader was actually convicted on Thursday um, so there's a bit of justice in that but it's still sad and it's still awful as you know I'm very much against any terrorist attack doesn't matter what religion you are if you are a terrorist it's not good and I wish I could do more for the families and for those who were affected by the bombings but unfortunately all I can do is just bring you guys news on the updates and things um, there is a bit about how the Belgian uh, were informed um, about something and there's actually an article that says Belgium admits lapses before Brussels attacks. So that's a little disconcerting, but uh, hopefully we'll all be okay. Now on to a different story. Okay, NFL. So for those of you who like watching football, awesome, I've got some news for you. And for those of you who are like me, who watch football with their dad, or if it, you know, with their mates who are actually watching American football, not real football, soccer for you Americans, uh, <laughs> I got some news. So, concussions are a huge thing, um, obviously in the medical world and, and the sports world as well. But there's not a lot of research. There's been more research developing and better uh, equipment, everything that's been put into effect, so that we can actually use these new equipment and hopefully protect our heads, but there's a bit of a scandal in the NFL world with this. Apparently, over a hundred head injuries were omitted from the data that uh, the NFL used for their concussion study. And when those over 100 cases were applied into the actual analysis and read it, uh, done, the analysis was completely redone, it's shown that actually, yes, concussions do happen more often than they believed. Head injuries are a scary thing. I myself have had several concussions, um, two main ones, one playing basketball and the other one, um, my most recent one, playing Quidditch when a girl kicked me in the head. But so that's a huge thing for me. That's rather personal that, hey, they're actually admitting we messed up. There should be more uh, research done on concussions. But which huge thing that really irritated me was that they admitted these and they're like, oh, no, no, people are fine. No, they're not doing this. And the reason they gave behind um, messing up this data was that oh, officials acknowledged that, quote, the clubs were not required to submit their data and not every club did, end quote. They did this. They said that just because um, we didn't require them to all put in it, this, those cases didn't, didn't matter. They didn't matter. No, these cases did matter. Yes, people have been hurt, and it's ridiculous, and I'm glad at least, you know, one of the members of the concussion committee, Dr. Joseph uh, Waker, actually said that he was uh, unaware of these um, omissions, which is a scary thought that, oh, goodness, this doctor was unaware that the data was flawed. However, he did add, though, quote, if somebody made a human error or somebody assumed the data was absolutely correct and didn't question it, well, we screwed up. If we found out it wasn't accurate and still used it, that's not a screw up. That's a lie. End quote. Thank you. Thank you for at least admitting this. And I hope that we're able to, you know, get together and actually work on this all together. And for those of you who are out there actually going into the medical field of studying hand injuries or any other kind of athletic injury, I got some stuff for you. Okay, now on to a good story. The Wall of Kindness. So a lot of you might look at me going, are you talking about a kid's show? What is this? I thought this was America, what the heck? What? No. It's actually a real thing. 
So this, uh, this started actually in uh, the Middle East. I don't know why we still call it the Middle East, but whatever. Uh, and it's a thing where the, these volunteers go out and they paint a wall. Uh, usually a bright color, sometimes blue, pink, whatever color they decide to use. And uh, they put in nails onto this wall and they make uh, areas that people can go and donate clothes um, to you know, the people who can't afford them. And it's wonderful because not everyone can afford to clothe their kids or clothe themselves because they're being paid so little. And uh, the huge story was uh, the quote, wall of kindness meets a harsh reality in Afghanistan, end quote. So in Kabul, Afghanistan, uh, this group of kids had seen the wall of kindness thing spreading across uh, these places and realizing, hey, we could do that. And that's actually what a 16 year old Hamila Baraz said to her brother, Abu Latif, uh, she turned to him and literally said, quote, let's do it, end quote. Good on you. I like you. So she and her brother gathered up their friends and they went all over trying to find some place to actually do this. And they were turned away by, uh, by you know, the people who were like, well, this actually could be a target for terrorism. I don't want to do this. Or they uh, actually, they went to Kabul University and requested this as well. And they said, no, you'd be defacing government property. I can kind of understand that, but still, it's a, for a good cause. And eventually, the president at uh, Habiba High School, uh, Darulaman, uh, out around Darulaman Road, uh, the principal's name is Saeed Shah Bakubuli, uh, and he gave them permission to use a wall that was not being painted over whatever. They could paint it, they could put up positive sayings and things like that, and they actually hammered in nails to help donate. Uh, and there's actually this beautiful picture of it. Look at that, look at that beautiful wall. But they were met with a lot of controversy and people were angry with them. I was like, whoa, really? People were upset about this? Actually, um, there were people who went up and they were mocking them and making fun of them. I was like, hmm, interesting. And then there were, uh, let's see, a few, quote, a few religious conservatives complained too that the Facebook page they set up to promote the wall had pictures of the girls involved fraternizing with the boys, end quote. I understand that there are some religious conservatives, especially in Afghanistan, that were uh, concerned about young women, um, even if they are wearing covers, um, going out and fraternizing with young men. I, I can understand this. That's kind of understood around the world. But I just love the response. So Sakina actually responded this way, quote, what did they expect? Sakina said, a lot of us are girls, end quote great response. I really like that. Uh, she doesn't care. Yes, that they had to go through all these things. Like, actually, nails were stolen from the wall, and the kids were just like, okay, I guess they needed the nails. All right, we'll just go back and, you know, put up more nails for more people so that we can help them. And I, I just appreciate how thoughtful they were. And there's actually one of the kids, uh, Alil Roman, he was 16. His goal in life is to become rich so that he can help the poor. Literally, it, it says, uh, quote, who said his goal in life is to go into business and get rich so that he can have more money to give to the poor, end quote. There are these beautiful kids out there, and usually we just hear about these horrible stories of, oh, this thing happened in Afghanistan, oh, another bombing, another suicide attack. But to hear this, to hear the, about the wall of kindness, that the, this group of kids, I think about 20 of them, got together and did this. And they actually got permission from their parents to go and do this, which I think was wonderful. Their parents um, helped them. Yeah, he said, uh, Sakina's father told, quote, sorry, Sakina's father told the members of the group that he would match whatever funds they raised to get started, she said. So they pooled their money, uh, pocket money and savings and soon had 7,000 Afghanis, or about $100, end quote. So the dad matched that. So they had $200 to work with. They went and painted this wall, salmon, color and then you know put up nails and try to do whatever they could and I think it's beautiful and I think that we should you know know about these stories which is why I decided to bring this up in this America what the heck so my question for America is America what the heck why aren't we doing this too and I'm actually now inspired to go and find a group of friends who would come out with me and go find a place that we can go and do this wonderful deed because there are a lot of homeless 
in um, the city that I live in. There's also a lot of homeless in pretty much everywhere. So if we can go and do this, if we can help promote this in America as well, I think that'd be great. Yes, we can go out and help and donate at, at Goodwill, or we can go to places where we can just drop off clothes, donation, and everything like that, or we can go and help in soup kitchens. But also doing this, this could also help a lot. So I want to end this with one last thing. Last Friday, I went to go see Batman vs. Superman. And all I'm going to say about it is that I highly recommend going and seeing it. And, uh, yeah. Catch you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this America What the Heck. If you like, subscribe. If not, okay, great. <laughs> see you guys later.